Okay, round two. I did not look at my opponent's deck because, as this is BTQ practice, it really wouldn't do anything for me. Unless I get to look at every one of my opponent's hands. Well, I guess it's like the same for meta PTQ, but eh, I digress. This hand's fine. I'm on the draw. Got a Static Caster, an Eileen Fire, and a Tar Drake. And I drew another mountain for my Annihilating Fire. Hover Barrier? Oh no, he's the Lobber Crew. I, I like this card a lot, actually. I think it's pretty good. You get to, it's a good reach for like a red aggressive deck. Also, it stops the beatdown, so you can hit with your flyers and more like blue red decks. Speaking of beatdowns, like annihilating fire and rune wing feels amazing every time you do it, because they don't get a draw card. He plays another one, I'll do it again. <laughs> Grixis. Huh. Oh man, this feels good. I probably should like left my other planes open, but I got too excited. <laughs> I have no regrets. An Eiling Fire Rune Wing feels like a two for one. Mm. Just card doesn't really do anything here. I can detain his lava crew, but then I don't get to attack with anything. And then on the following turn, I only get to attack with just a card because it'll get blocked by 04. I'll go ahead and detain both of his creatures though. That stops me from getting attacked. And I guess it doesn't, doesn't really stop me from getting pinged. Though he plays a multicolored card, it stops me from getting pinged twice. Yay! I don't actually like this card very much. It's just Flying Men with marginal upside, but Flying Men's usually not a good card. <laughs> I need to draw some sort of land eventually. This Lobberger is just going to take me out. Or not a land, just like a... Uh, something to do. What's in my... what's in this deck? I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be playing with this one. It seems a lot sweeter. I definitely think I made the wrong decision in not sticking with the... Uh, this deck. The green... the green black one. Or the green white red one. Whatever colors this is. <laughs> Let's see, I have a Tenement Crasher to get through that large thing. A Frostburn Weird gets through it as well. Nivix Skilled Mage will do some things, and I could draw some flyers, obviously. If you text with Stealer Secrets, I'm definitely going to trade, or just Chump Block. By Chump Block, I mean it's an 03. Is multicolored spell too? That's unfair. I don't want to judgment his lava crew, but I think that's what's gonna kill me, so I'm gonna do that. I 
I could have done it at the end of his turn. I should have done it, but I hadn't decided whether I was going to yet. So I just decided not to think about it. <laughs> now if you stab one's this, I'm pretty much dead. But I think we're both drawing dead, I'd say. Ooh, there we go. Probably should have paid red red for that so I can represent cancel. But he just can't play around cancel at this point, so I don't regret that too much. That gets through hover barrier. Doesn't die to annihilating fire, so I have to draw judgment or explosives in order to beat that. So if I play Nivix Skilled Mage, I can activate it once. Install all these planes. I guess I'll get in for two. I think I have to go to dead to spawn over. Ah, that was a mistake. I should have just like left buff Frostburn Weird and used it to block his uh spawn over Xmati to kill it. Because now I have to chump with my hover barrier, or I die to explosives. I don't really feel like dying to explosives. Yeah, that was definitely a mistake. Ash saw it. Well, since he typed out a red mana, I'm going to assume he doesn't have explosives. <laughs> I'll just take eight here. It puts me at three. So I'm dead to annihilating fire now too. So if I block here, I won't be dead to annihilating fire. I'll still be dead to explosives. And I won't have a hover barrier. I think I'll go I'll go to dead to annihilating fire. I definitely should have not attacked with a frostburn weird. I can attack for a bunch of damage actually. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's not fourteen though. Tenement crash run defense. Yeah, I should have attacked with the Frostburn Weird last turn. It's a silly mistake. Trade with Frostburn Weird? I don't know what trick he could have. Augur Spree, I guess. You could have the nothing. Okay, that's a good trick. Slow roll the explosives. No, Batterhorn. If I attack with the Crasher, so if I def Tingent Sphere Batterhorn, he doesn't have that. Then if I attack with the Crasher, he has to either double block it or take five. If he takes five, he swings back for four. I can block the Electromancer and the Barrier. I wish I had played that Island instead of a Plains. I was also, I misplayed it's coming back to bite me over and over again. I've not played very well this game. But 
But I definitely have to attack the Tenement Crasher before I die to an Annihilating Fire, a Burn Spell. I don't think you can double block this. There's like no way that's feasible. Yeah, jumping with the Guild Mage now. <laughs> Obviously draw Inspiration. Uh, might as well Inspiration myself then. I can still draw Justicar, so I'll leave open Double White. Skywatch is a pretty good draw. Okay, I need him not to draw Annihilating Fire, or exp just Burn Spells. Don't draw a Burn Spell, please. I'd appreciate it greatly. I probably shouldn't even play this one, because then I die to Essence Backlash. Should have probably played the Rune Wing. Yeah, I think Rune Wing is much better there. Neat. Misplay, win anyway. Yeah, that was a really bad game. Okay, do I want to keep with the stack or do I want to stick with the the green one? Let's see. Annihilating Fire was really good against him. I got the uh, the two Rune Wings. Otherwise, I'm trading out Rune Wing for a bunch of good creatures. Stunning Growth. He had two stat wounds. Um, Death Rite Shaman's pretty okay against him. Eh. I think I want the Annihilating Fires more than I want the th creatures. Because the Centaur tokens do do a, like a Annihilating Fire impression against ground creatures. They don't kill Rune Wings. And the green deck does not have much in the way of fires, Fire Heat. Like I have the Tar Drakes and the Rune Wing, but that's all I have. So I think I want to keep as is. Uh, Specific things. Might want to bring in a cancel. He's got to have some sort of card advantage engine, like a. There's got to be some reason he's playing black other than stab wound. I mean, not necessarily, but I didn't see any like the burn spells that a blue red aggressive deck would have. Hmm. So I could bring in Splatter Thug. He did have a bunch of 2-2 two -two first, a uh, 2 twos. Take out like a Arrester for it. Racketeer is okay. Probably don't want to take out any of the existing cards I have for it. Yeah, I think this is fine. Okay. Against him, I probably want to be on the play, just so he can't curve out on me and kill me. But I obviously lost that, or won the last game, so he get to pick. He had the opportunity to pick. It doesn't look like he's Ash Zelating this turn, this game. So next turn, I get to play Tower Drake, follow up with Chromatic Lantern. What is this? Lava Crew? Racketeer. Discarding Cyclonic Rift. Wow. That card's very good. I don't think I discard it. This card just wins games. There's the Lava Crew. Ooh, Nivix Guild Mage. So I can play Chromatic Lantern and the Guild Mage. Man, Chromatic Lantern's sweet.
get up to 10 mana and start copying my Tristani's judgments. <laughs> That's a realistic thing that can happen, right? Oh, well, the, the one good thing I did do last game was I killed his Lava Crew before it did three extra damage to me. Probably should have killed it sooner. So, I think I Skywatch his Lava Crew and then swing for two. If he's electricery, he could actually get me pretty good if I block the uh, sky the racketeer with his skywatch. So I'll just get his a uh, racketeer, play around the electricery. Start attacking with my five power of flyers. If he plays a rune wing, I'm just gonna start killing them. Yeah. Ooh. So I can play Detention Sphere, then and Eyes in the Sky, then Tristani's Judgment, his next flyer. And the Tristani's Judgment will make a bird token then. Yep, I take a damage. I'll take the two damage off Racketeer because I think I'm pretty sure I can just race him with a uh, seven power worth of flying creatures. It kills my Chronic Lantern. That sucks. Okay. Swing for seven. He's dead in a turn. One. So I only have six mana now. And only one white source. I don't think he can beat this. So he's putting me to a ten and then swinging at me for six. So actually, actually I'm dead to explosives if he has it. So I should probably trust on his judgment, his Batterhorn. Stabbing mana. Sure. So he can't explode this me. He's still dead on board. Oh, okay. I was trying to decide whether if I wanted to trust on his judgment his batterhorn. Because if I if he plays land and rune wing. Or even just a three drop flyer like Tower Drake, I wanna exile that. And then I can't swing for game because I'd only swing get in for three, and he'd block the Tower Drake, and he'd be at one, and he could probably might could kill me on the backswing. Or I could trust on his judgment at now get a flyer. So I just don't take more damage. Because taking six will put me at five, and if his explosives I'm definitely dead next turn. The downside of that being, of course, if he plays a flyer, I can't kill him. I think it's safer to just take the six. Go to five, play the thing. But he conceded, so I didn't have to think about it. Well, 2 0 now, so guaranteed three packs. If I win the next two, I get a lot of payout. If I win the next one, I get a moderate amount. See you in round three.